I'm Eric Farrar. I'm an assistant professor uh, at the Arts and Technology program at UT Dallas, and I focus on uh, 3D animation, computer animation classes. Well, let's talk about where this, I mean, is this, for the two years ago class compared to last year's class, what were, was it similar you know, capturing you wanted to get, or was it something different, new? Well, it's interesting. Uh, it, e each year, um, the story was a little bit different. Um, the skill sets of the students are, are a little bit different. So, uh, where the first year we had um, uh, some, you know, different strengths, and so we tried to focus on, on those and kind of highlight those a, a little bit more. Um, we had, a, 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 I think, probably a, a larger number of students uh, in that first year that were just focused on animation, the actual getting the performance of the, of yeah. the characters out. So we were able to do a lot more with that little kid character. Um, the second year, uh, with the chameleon short, Sticky, um, we had a lot more students that were interested in texturing and lighting. So when you look at that one, the visual look yeah. is, is a lot different you know, than, than the Fright Light short. So when you go into the project at the beginning of the year, do you, what is your main focus you want to capture? Well, initially it's getting that story down and, and trying to get a story that's going to be yeah. fun and entertaining to watch. And, and, uh, and, and we actually work on that for, for a long time, uh, uh, several, several weeks at the beginning of, of the year. Uh, to really try and get that refined and we do a lot of uh, storyboarding and just hand drawing stories and character design and all that kind of stuff uh, to really get that locked down first. How do you know who will do what position? I mean, how does, does it gradually come about or is it that first week you kind of figure things well, out? Well, we have students, um, students have to apply for the class. Okay. So when they do that, they submit a portfolio. Mm -hmm. um, students will, will come in uh, with typically with skill sets in, in one particular area, say modeling or lighting or, or animation. Um, and so they'll present um, student work that they have um, that highlights their skill sets. So we kind of, at the beginning, you know, we have a rough idea of what the story is going to be, but then we'll, we'll say, oh, well, we'll maybe need five modelers and six animators. And so we try and narrow it down that way. Ultimately, everybody ends up working on two or three different disciplines on the on the yeah. project so modelers become lighters and <laughs> riggers become animators you know that kind of thing um, uh, but yeah most of the students come in with with at least one sort of skill set that they want to really focus on what's the experience of being able to showcase it here at the Angelica at Video Fest I mean that must be so much fun with the kids here. oh no it's absolutely yeah, it's, uh, it's really exciting it's 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 a totally different experience when you can watch these things on a big screen and see the audience reaction yeah. and that kind of thing. It's a lot of fun. And I think uh, uh, just in talking to the students um, a little bit after after showing that, they're all kind of, everybody's talking about, oh, did you hear that kid laughing? And you know, <laughs> and didn't expect to get a laugh at this point and, and things like that. So uh, it's a lot of fun. I think it's a great experience for, for the students. When you're teaching the class, when you're in there, do you show any films in particular to help inspire them maybe or 3D you know, snippets or do you just let them create what the story is? Well, we look at, I mean, we look at a handful of different kinds of things. I don't know that there's anything uh, uh, specific that I can think of, but, but we look at a lot of examples. Most of these students are, are pretty advanced before they come into this, yeah. this class. Um, so, uh, you know, they, they've had a chance to kind of look at a lot of animated films. They've had several other classes where, where they're examining, um, you know, models from Pixar or from DreamWorks or, or, or places like that. Um, uh, uh, and then you know, and then depending on what the story, the specific, what the specific story is calling for, um, we'll look at examples um, that, that kind of relate and tie back to that too. What's it? You, I mean, you're here with a film festival experience for them as filmmakers. What does that feel like to be able to see them growing, knowing that hopefully they'll be doing this quite a bit because there's film festivals showcase short film all over the place. Yeah, um, yeah, and for me, it's great. It's it's awesome to to be able to see these guys. Um, uh, just get the recognition that they deserve, you know, and, and uh, because they put in a lot of hours <laughs> on these projects and they work really, really hard. Um, we, we, we push them, you know, and we say this is where the bar is and this is what you have to hit uh, in order to, to, to create something that's going to be, you know, um, uh, just really, really high quality. So it's, it's great. Uh, for me to see them get that that kind of recognition. Was there a mile? I mean, with animation, like you said, it, it takes time. Yeah, you have to build on it. Is there a milestone moment that you know that okay, this film is coming together? Yeah, usually it's when we see that first, um, uh, the first shot that is is completed. So it, it kind of goes through different stages. 
Um, the first time we see an animated shot where the animated performance yeah. is, is right on, that's always a, a key <laughs> moment. But when you see a shot where the animation is done, the textures and the lights are all completed, that's usually uh, uh, it's usually usually comes at a point where people are starting to feel a little worn down, <laughs> but it's always kind of a, a nice shot in the arm when when you get to see that final shot. It's like, yeah, okay, this is actually going to come together, and this is what it's going to look like.